What up, y'all? It's Crew, also known as Uranian Storm, checking in for the Uranian series. We are moving to Uranus in Virgo. For those of y'all that don't know, I am your cosmic group work astrologer specializing in Mars activations as well as North Node and South Node consultations. So if you would like to book a personal reading with me, you can hit me up at the link below, uranistorm.wigs.com slash info. You feel me? And also, if you would like to support my shop, I got the tapestries on deck, you feel me? I got the bottles on deck, you feel me? The papyrus paper, papyrus paper on deck as well. So you want to make sure you go ahead and check those things out. I usually do the, these other things, but all that information is down below. And we just going to hop right into it. Uranus in Virgo. Well, first of all, let's talk about Uranus. What is the energy of Uranus? Okay. What do we talk about when we're entering the energy of Uranus? Well, first and foremost, this has to do with Aquarius. This is Aquarius energy, okay? This is the electrifying shock of Aquarius, okay? This is the energy of the future, technology, you know, the visionary, the collective energy, transportation, the internet you know what I mean? Uh, the, the scientists in the lab cooking up that new work. You feel me? The innovation, being innovative, being able to see once again into the future, moving forward, humanitarianism. This is all the energy that kind of seeps into Aquarius. I also want to let y'all know that uh, definitely subscribe to the Patreon account. We'll be going more into death. Death. <laughs> we'll be going more into depth about uh, astrology and have some stuff that we will not be actually having out on the personal youtube channel also weekly astrology will also be done from here on out on the channel so if you peep in game make sure you go to the patreon patreon.com slash a rainy storm once again info below let's get it all right so what happens when that energy energy what happens when that energy moves into virgo when we have uranus and the energy of virgo meet up this is what i call the mercurial alchemist all right so because Uranus is the mad scientist and Virgo is the alchemist, this can create a beautiful, 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 beautiful harvest for the for the community at large. You know, Uranus is community focused, it's community forward, it's focusing on the bigger, the bigger picture of the collective. Virgo wants to serve. So with that energy, you will definitely see someone who is very focused on the details very focused on the risk what could happen what couldn't happen what might happen you feel me they're definitely this is definitely the energy that will go down and make sure that everything is in small detail taken care of to the t you know for the for for the benefit of the collective you feel me um very much so critical thinking here you know what I mean? The Uranus energy is of the mind, of ideas, of innovation once again. Virgo likes to make solutions to things, you know, make solutions to a bigger problem, okay? This has to be done this way. This is how we've done it this way. This is how in history we've made it work this way. Let's figure out a way we can make this work so we can integrate this into the new world. So I feel like Uranian energy to a certain degree because this is mutable Earth, Although, um, I, I think it challenges the Virgo energy to move away from the day-to-day -day energy um, and challenges that energy to combine the day-to-day -day energy, but also combine that energy with something revolutionized, you know, new. You feel me? Just something that, something that can um, go beyond the test of time with this energy here, you know, um, definitely. Um, we're also talking about, I haven't said it on all the other videos, but we're also talking about houses here. So if you have the Uranus in the sixth house, this, is an osco, osco, this can also apply to Uranus in the sixth house as well. Um, this is very much so like, I think I said it in Taurus, in, uh, Taurus, Taurus, I think I said, but this is also the earthquake energy shaking the earth beyond the feet to do something different, to do something more. Uranus is going to challenge you to go beyond the status quo with Uranus and Virgo stepping outside your daily activities in your daily routines to uh, bring in new forth new change different changes okay quick quick 
also too i put uh paid paying attention to health here um there's other planets that you want to look to when we're talking about health here but i feel like with virgo here um your nervous system your nervous system because uranus is a part of the nervous system but also virgo virgo is a part of the nervous system and the digestive system to a certain or digestive system yes and also part of the nervous system to a certain degree you definitely want to pay attention to your health you can have quick fast changes in your health um this is also too i did not mention at the beginning this cycle lasted from august 10th 1962 to september 28th 1968 okay the 60s all right this is the energy of collectiveness of people who was trying to get together to go against the government to make the world better to make better situations to make a better life for the collective of all when we was in leo energy uranus and leo was more so about the individual self when we moved into virgo energy it was more about the community that we serve you know what i mean a lot of people started living together you know and 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 you know communities and figuring out how to work and and be amongst each other and live amongst each other and the free loving and all that good shit was around when uranus was in virgo at this time um very much so like i said open to new things very much so a leader in their own right this generation like i said finding new solutions to old problems is definitely going to be y'all specialty um for sure when you come into this energy um the balance between nature and technology because we have virgo which is the mutable earth and we have uranus energy which is the future a technology in inter the internet so it's going to have to be a balance you're going to have to find a balance or finding that balance in between the two you know not getting so pulled away from nature but also allowing new ideas as far as technology and the media to also play out as well you started to see and this time, a lot of inventions starting to spur up before we actually had internet and phones. You started to see a lot of technology kind of spur out of nowhere um, or in the, in the works um, before we got to, you know, a, a time where it was just vast and rapid. You know what I mean? Um, scientifically, that was another thing, too, especially in the pharmaceutical company. Um, a lot of pharmaceuticals... <laughs> We're put into the mix if you know what i mean pisces is on the opposite side of virgo so of course you can imagine what that was like <coughs> lsd um what what happened i don't know what happened there who somebody says something? i don't know working for the greater good of all once again in relationships um definitely a time where there was a lot of writers that came out a lot of poets that came out this is mercurial energy so this is a lot of the writing, the writing and poetry and everybody wanting to communicate with each other efficiently in the Virgo and way. Um, uh, definitely highly intuitive, a lot of occult knowledge, the witches and the, you know, what I mean, all that stuff started to come. The covens and all that kind of stuff kind of started to come into play. Um, this is also a, a time where a lot of cults. Uh, I don't necessarily think that it was necessarily Virgo energy, but I just think Uranus energy in itself has a funny way um, of bringing people together with like minds, which is Virgo energy. Um, you know, just having the same kind of value systems and ideals um, and bringing people together. And um, yeah, that time was a very culty time. <laughs> very culty time. Um you know sometimes this energy can also be known for just kind of going with it going with going with the betterment of the group especially as we move into libra after that that it can sometimes get so caught up in the group think that um it starts to conform to the rest of the group and that's not to say virgo is a conformist it's just to say that okay this is what we're doing this is the mission we rolling with it okay so to my uranus and virgos that are still here with us and still experiencing or got the opportunity to experience this energy um let me know what y'all think i would love to know especially at the time that we're in right now when we're leaving a 40-year cycle you know um or we're seeing a 40-year cycle from what was 
Tim from from the 60s time all the way to the time that we're in now let me know what you think let me know if you have anything to add um but this is definitely like i said a very revolutionary time a lot of activists came from this period time and um yeah that's my analysis of uranus and virgo we're going to be moving like i said from uranus in leo this week all the way to uranus and scorpio so i'll be seeing y'all on the next one you already know what it is a rainstorm checking in checking out without motherfucking doubt